Hey everyone, welcome to Joystick Lab. In the last tutorial, we have seen that how we can place object using the new XR interaction toolkit. In this part of our tutorial, we are going to actually manipulate the object um, using the same toolkit, right? So let's get started. If you like our video, please consider subscribing and also like and share the video to support the channel. So to get started, we are going to select one of this object and we're going to add a few stuff um, that is going to help us to manipulate the object. But um, actually before starting the actual process let me talk a little bit about why do we need a few other components to manipulate objects now technically we need to think about how the user is going to interact with this object right so when we are placing an object we are using a tap anywhere in our screen now when the player want to select the object the player needs to just tap on top of the object so the player taps on this sofa and after that, when the user um, basically taps on this, we need to make sure there is some sort of a visibility of the system status. So that means we need to put some sort of outline here so um, the user knows that this particular object is selected. In the other course, in the next course, we are going to actually talk about how we can use a shader to put an outline but it's not going to be a part of this AR um, like IKEA AR um, course but it's going to be added into some other course in the future but yeah so basically let's design the outline first uh, the simplest way of doing it doing in the simplest way of doing it is basically we can right click here and we can create a 3d object and a cube and I am going to make it a little bit bigger so that it basically covers up this whole thing. And we need a material so that we can see through this object, right? When we are, uh, when we are placing this uh, cube, we can see through this object. So to do that, we need a transparent sort of material. Um, so let's create a material. I'm going to right click create um, where is it material and then I'm going to say outline I already have it <laughs> so yeah so click on the material and then in the rendering mode select transparent and in the albedo you can select one of the colors that you prefer right so I am going to use blue for this example and finally we can drag and drop this cube on top of this like drag and drop this material on top of the cube that will give us this sort of you know effect and you can change this smoothness or this metallic metallic field to get some sort of different effects i'm happy with this uh, so i'm going to rename this with outline awesome finally i'm going to uncheck this so that it's by default hidden and this is the really fun part we are just going to add a few components and that's it after that unity will take care of this by itself so let's start adding so first one is going to be the selection interactable this is going to help us to uh, make this thing selectable right now selection is done the next thing we need is to move it we can move it using the trans air translation interactable um, everything should be like you don't have to change any settings everything should be default and we are also going to need the rotation interactable awesome okay um, so what else uh, we can also add a scale but for this example we are not going to use scaling but if you want to use a scale you can just simply use AR scale uh, interaction and that will be it okay now after you add all of them in the AR selection interactable you'll find an option 
for selection visualizer so you just drag and drop the outline in there so this is going to be the um, um, this material will be set to active whenever we select the object right by unity so we don't have to do anything there as well okay final part is to add a collider because you see uh, this object doesn't have any collider so if you don't have any collider the raycast is not going to work so we need to add a box collider or any other collider I'm going to use box collider because this is memory efficient rather than mix mesh mesh collider so and also our uh, sofa is sort of box shaped so this one should work perfectly awesome so yeah so that's all about it now if you build this game uh, it should work fine but you'll see there is no changed been applied to your uh, game why because remember we are using addressables so that means whenever you are changing this uh, no matter what you change here if you build this if build this with a fresh version that might work um, but I am I am assuming that it's not going to work because none of these assets are going to be by default in the project they are all grabbed from the uh, Google Cloud right so what should we do we have to do two things first of all because we have changed this version so now if we go to our addressables window then asset management addressables and in here we can we could do this we could just click on this drop down and like we did before we can click on this build and update a previous build we could go to Android and then select this one and select open and that's it then we could just update um, whatever update we get into Google Cloud but because we have changed the unity version this might not work so what I prefer is to go to build and first of all clean your build and when the clean is done then create a new build with a default build script right so I have already done that and after doing it you will get we have already talked about it before so I'm not going to talk much about it but you're going to get this um, new sort of data into your server data Android and what you need to do is you need to go back to the uh, Google Cloud and then you just need to upload these files right now just a recap if you don't remember you need to go to this uh, sandwich sorry hamburger <laughs> you need to click on this hamburger menu and then go to the uh, storage and from there you are going to find the project that you created the folder and you need to delete all this from here and then upload the new catalog all right make sure to do this otherwise your uh, changes might not be reflected all right so yeah uh, I think that's all about it today make sure you need to do this for all these objects make sure of that so I have done it just for the chair so if you want to do this uh, you, if you want to manipulate all the other objects as well so sorry I have done it just for this uh, sofa but yeah if you want to uh, manipulate all the other objects you need to make sure all these other objects have uh, the same configuration so they should have this three um, script and a box collider and finally they should also have an outline which should be um, referred into this selectable selection interactable all right okay so that's all about it for this tutorial in the next part we are just going to finish off this project do a little bit of polishing and then we are going to jump into a new course with AR foundation I'll see you in the next tutorial then bye